fiction is made up. So fiction is something that I have imagined. Mm -hmm. But but my 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 job is to make it believable. So it's always based on something that could be real. My my characters are always complex, contradictory. They are never good and bad. I don't have whole villains and people who are heroes because people are not that way yeah. in real life. And but if I'm writing a historical novel, I want that the I want all the historical facts to be true. Yeah. And if I incorporate real characters, for example, Toussaint Louverture, I have read biographies of Toussaint Louverture, and whatever I write there, even mm -hmm. if it's a sentence, it it's, has to be true. It, it has, has to, to be true. true. Yeah. Because, because historians are watching. Uh, although many of my books have a sort of um, vast um, scope, they're sort of epic. It's always about private lives. It's always about how people react to mm -hmm. a certain mm -hmm. event. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not so interested in what you can read in a history book. It's, no. it's about what, you, what happens to, what would happen to us yeah. if we were in yeah. that situation. Uh, I'm always interested in love and death and violence, justice, freedom. Um, my, my characters are sort of contradictory because that's how I see that people are. The more I travel, the, the more I realize why people read my books. Because I'm talking about what is common to everybody. We are all the same. Yeah. Uh, I'm very careful when I write in Spanish because, and I read aloud mm -hmm. what I have written because I want the sentence to, I want to hear it. Mm -hmm. But you never know how it translates to different languages. Um, but I never share the books with anybody. My, my husband, nobody reads them. Why nobody. is that? I, I just don't. I, I finish my, the book and I send it to my, my agent and to my translator in English. Because my translator starts translating into English without a contract even before we know that we are going to sell the book. Because I need to see it in another language. It's like a filter that gives me distance to see the problems that I have in Spanish. Sometimes I read it in English and I say, ah, oh, this sounds so sentimental. <laughs> because you yeah. see it in English and you don't see it in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Or I say, I, this is repeated. I, I, it's already in another part of the book and I have not seen it in Spanish. Yeah. I, I just read um, the latest book by Jonathan Franzen. Um, it's called Freedom. Mm -hmm. it, the, the guy who wrote Corrections. And um, it had raging, beautiful reviews in um, in all the medias, the New York Times book review, every, all the critics were said that this is like Proust, but that this is a wonderful book. Okay, I read the book, and this is this is. I, it took me a long time to get into it because it, all the details about basketball and this and that. And, oh my God! <laughs> but then I realized what the book is about, and mm -hmm. the book is about extreme freedom. It's about a society that gives you all the choices. Yeah and gives you all the choices and the free time and the wealth to do whatever you want. Yeah. And what do you do with freedom? Nothing. And what happens to you with all yeah. that freedom? It, it's, a, it's really interesting. Mario Vargas Llosa is a wonderful writer. He has written more than 30 books. He's a real intellectual. He's, he, he's a, a man who, who, ha, who is very honest in his beliefs. And he's a, a wonderful, wonderful person to receive the award. And I think this is very good for Latin American yeah. literature for literature in Spanish. And the, the boom of Latin American literature was sort of fading. Mm -hmm. And now this gives it a new life. Yeah.